Padre Pio was born in 1887 in the small Italian village in Petrelcina. He joined the Capuchin Friars at the age of 16 and was ordained a priest seven years later. For 40 years at the monastery of San Giovanni Rotondo, he was a much sought after spiritual advisor, convoker, and intercessor whose life was devoted to the Eucharist and prayer. Padre Pio was a great apostle of the confession. Padre Pio's apparently supernatural gift of perception combined with his deep compassion and down-to-earth advice made him extremely popular. The lines of people standing outside his confessional were so long that the monastery took a drastic step. No one could confess to Padre Pio unless they had made a reservation. This was the acid test of his glory. Pope Pius XII asked Bishop Andrea Cesarani in 1947, What does Padre Pio do? The reply was, Your Holiness, it takes away the sense of the world. Yet with much pain, he would often say, I only want to be a poor friar who prays. In spite of his canonization in 2002, the affectionate name for the rock star saint was still Padre Pio. He is revered around the world as one of the great wonder-working saints of the 20th century. Saint Pio became famous because of his stigmata wounds in his hands and feet like those that Jesus suffered when he was nailed to the cross. For 50 years, he suffered the pain caused by the said sores in his body. He is the first stigmatized priest of the church. Hundreds, perhaps thousands of people say they were healed of serious, even life-threatening illnesses by the prayers of Padre Pio, who could see the sins that the penitent had kept secret for years. And the most popular legend about Padre Pio happened in 1947, when a young Polish priest studying in Rome traveled to San Giovanni Rotondo to see the renowned friar, who became his extraordinary confessor, Padre Pio predicted that his visitor, Father Carol Motila, would someday be born. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us.